Welcome back, everybody. Folks. Ladies and gentlemen, come here. My next guest is an actress you know from Mirror, Mirror, Mank, and Emily in Paris. Madeline. Madeline. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. You've done so much for me, and I'm so grateful for that. I mean, it's just, it's just something that I have to do. It's Paris! Emily, no! Please welcome back to The Late Show, Lily Collins. Nice to oh, see you nice again. Nice to see you too. No, uh, I gotta ask something about that clip right there. Yeah. You have bangs. Yes, I have bangs. You have yeah. bangs. Yeah. Was that a wig you were cutting, or did you cut it, your own hair there? I no, gosh, no, that would be a oh, mess. No, that was a piece, but we only had one piece because fake hair is expensive. Very expensive. Isn't um, it? so we had one shot, okay. and I weirdly cut it even. Wow. Go figure, I know. That's, that's it, was, it was pretty lucky. TV magic is yes. what that is. <laughs> um, th this is the, the, the third, this is season three. Yeah. For Emily in Paris. Yeah. Okay, how much? Thank you. <laughs> now, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for yeah. the people who haven't seen it yet, mm -hmm. Emily in Paris takes place in Paris. And wow. how much of the year do you spend there when you're shooting? I spend about five months. Wow. So yeah, that's a nice gig. It's a, it's a lovely gig. I actually now have um, a residency card. What does that mean, like a green? Equivalent I of a have green like card? a yeah, I have like a two year residency card for France. Wow, which is I just never thought I'd get to say that. I we're wow. so grateful to be able to shoot there. Paris has really enveloped us do you, and welcomed do you, do you, us. Do you feel like a, a little bit of a local I now? Do, I do feel a little bit like because a local. Because you've, yes. you've, you've, you've oh. certainly made it. This is. Uh, Paris Vogue, right there. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty nice. That was mm, yeah. that was a real mm -hmm. that was that was a real shock when I got that cover. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, wait, me what? Um, I was so honored to be on the cover of French Vogue. You can yeah. get in anywhere in Paris. Just hold this up <laughs> to say, excuse I need me, a reservation. open the door. <laughs> have you met Emmanuel Macron? Um, I have not. I have. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't have my little card, but I've met, <laughs> I've met Emmanuel Macron. Yeah. I've met um, his, his lovely wife. Brigitte, yeah. Brigitte Macron. Absolutely. Oui. Oui. Yeah, what did she say? How, was she nice? She's actually a really big fan of the show. Oh, really? Wow. Wow. Which I what was about, like what very... about your show? Does she like yours? <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. She said to say hi. I, 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 <laughs> I got when when I met Macron, he actually did like this. He like he was like so French, you know. I know he's French. Yeah, yeah. He's a president of France, but he leaned in. He just took my hand. He goes, "Oh, gentil." Oh I'm like, "Wait a second. You're like, say I am it, 100 say it again. Say it again. Yeah, say it again. <laughs> yeah, hose me down, man. I totally get it. So uh, this is this is the true sign that your character has made it. On Google Maps, your character, Emily oh, Cooper's yeah. apartment, now appears on Google Maps. This is crazy. We were I was trying to send my friend a location of where I was shooting that yes. day, and I zoomed in and went, wait, I, it says Emily Cooper's apartment on Google Maps. It's like, that that's weird. Yes. And also very that's cool. Up. I was like mm -hmm. very. I was like, thanks, Google. You and your husband have started a production company, Andrew. We uh, have, yeah. yes. We recently launched um, Case Study Films with our producing partner, Alex Orlovsky. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited um, because it's something I've wanted. It's I a wanted... lot of work. Uh, yes, it's a lot yeah. of work. There's three of us. Sure. So we can, like, divvy up the work. Okay. No, no, we're really, really excited because I've, I've always wanted a production company, but it was about timing and with whom. Mm -hmm. And Charlie, writer, director, producer, myself, mm -hmm actress and producer and Alex Orlovsky, a producer, we all bring different things to the table. And we really want it to be a, a one-stop shop for creatives to be able to bring IP, tell their stories, mm -hmm. um, and 
and just be able to take ownership over their proje projects in a way that maybe other places wouldn't give them the opportunity to. Well, your, your, your husband, Charlie, is a director. He's directed you. Yeah. What is it like to be directed by your husband? And can you sort of turn off the workplace relationship when you get home? It, yeah, we, we filmed a movie called Windfall in which, um, spoiler alert, I, I end up killing two people, one of which is my husband in the movie, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's it's in the plot. I mean, it's it's like <laughs> it's warranted, okay? Sure. Um, no, but we were we were planning our wedding at the same time as shooting that movie, so it was almost like he got to see like worst case scenario right away. Mm -hmm. And there can be some tension. Um, there can be some, there tension was some tension. While no, you're, yeah, it was exactly. it was an incredible um, experience working with him. I just I felt very encouraged and inspired every single day, and I often forgot that he was actually my fiance because he just is very much an actor's director. Mm -hmm. And there was only three cast members and we were all really good friends. So we all, he all spoke to us the same way. And it was just really fun. And That's the nice. wedding happened. Congratulations. We still got married. Congratulations. <laughs> I understand you and your husband, you, you've both been uh, bitten by the pickleball bug, which I, which we, I recently okay. also as of well. I, I know, because not only am I the cover on French Vogue, but guys, I think this. This is, this is the this. No, no, excuse me. This is more exciting. This okay. Is, no one knows. Okay. No one knows what that is. No, this is Pickleball Magazine, which in pickleball, I yes. in Pickleball Magazine also love the coordination. Emily would be proud. Yes. I hope we notice. I um, want you to know this is her copy of that magazine, not my copy oh, of this magazine. Oh, by the magazine. way, by the way, I totally didn't even realize that I um, apparently had to pay eight dollars for this because as I was on my way out of the pickleball store that my husband was getting a new um, racket, I just took it. <laughs> so you stole this? I thought that it was for free. Did they stop you and make you pay, <laughs> or are you a, a criminal on the run right now? Uh, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> We should play. We I, should play I, sometime. I, yes, we would love to. No, yes. we're big, big pickleball fans. No, I'm, I'm a big fan of Lily Collins. Thank you Thank so much you. for being here. <laughs> Season three of Emily in Paris is on Netflix on December 21st. It's Lily Collins, everybody. We'll be right back.